Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card video. Today's card uses this new In the Tree set by Stampin' Up. I'm just using the string of lights. I've also got the hardwood background stamp and this Big Birthday Wishes set by Simon Says Stamp. So I'm gonna start with some VersaFine Black Onyx ink and my Stampamajig because I'm gonna need it in just a little bit. So I'm gonna get my plastic sheet ready. Now I have a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock and I'm gonna use my uh, string of lights multiple times to just sort of make it drape across the card. Now this one's gonna need to be extended which is why I used my Stampin' Jig. So I'm gonna line it up right on top and I'm gonna overlap it just a little bit which is fine because I'm gonna be coloring those kind of little things above the light bulbs. So I'll put that in place, my handle, and then I will ink up my stamp again. And you wanna be really careful not to move the paper because there's nothing adhering it to the craft mat, but I do this all the time, and I don't ever have any problems with it. So I'm gonna go straight down and straight up, and there you go. So now my lights are ready. I'm gonna go ahead and clear emboss this so that it'll be resisted when I do a few techniques later. Next, I'm gonna color my bulbs. I'm using some pigment ink and this Fantastix, which is kind of like a foam tip. I really just wanted something that I can use that was very thin, a thin tip that would apply color. You could use a sponge dauber, but it's not gonna be as precise. So I'm gonna color the middle of the bulb and I'm just picking it up. This is Memento Lux Dandelion ink. Uh, and then I'm just gonna kind of go around it. It's gonna create a halo. Um, I am not reapplying uh, color when I go outside the bulb because I want it to be a little faded. So once I color the inside, then I just sort of extend it outside a little bit. And then I will clear emboss this so it is resisted. And now moving on to my background, I'm using Pan Pastels. I'm just using one color here. Here's the set that I bought at Amazon. And you can see they come in these stacks. And I'm just gonna take the one color that I want off, which is brown. Uh, I have several videos on these and I'll link to them in the blog post. You apply the pastels with these soft rubbery tools. So I'm gonna dip it into my brown and I'm just gonna rub it on my paper. And at first it seems like it's going on really streaky, but if you just keep working at it, and I'm kind of going back and forth because it's gonna look like a fence and I wanna keep that sort of textured uh, look of up and down vertical stripes, but eventually it's all going to be kind of blended in. So I'm fast forwarding this. Now when you apply pastels to a background, you don't really get a very dark color, you get much more of a muted color. So you can see I've got my first layer on, and now I'm gonna go in with the second one and I'm gonna do circles, and I'll really blend this out. Um, and you can see how easy it is to apply. You really don't, in the end, there really aren't any streaks, it's just nice and smooth. So here is my final product. Now to clean this up, I'm just gonna take my absorber and just wipe it and it comes right off my craft mat. I'm gonna stamp my fence in Memento Rich Cocoa. Uh, I wanted a fast drying ink, uh, but unfortunately you'll find out that this does not dry as fast as you think. Anyway, so I'm gonna stamp it and then I'm gonna put my paper on top of my stamp and then I'll just grab it and flip it over. And you can see I get a nice contrast between the light pastel and the Memento ink. And I'm just gonna take a tissue quickly and wipe off the embossed areas to make sure there's no ink on them. I'll give you a close up here so you can see the halo around the light bulbs because of the fantastics that I used. I selected the sentiment because it was kind of square and I wanted to fill that area at the bottom. So I'm gonna line it up in my Misty and I'm gonna take some Versamark ink and uh, press it down here. And I'm gonna make this white emboss. So I'm gonna put some powder on and this is when I found out it had been drying for probably 15 minutes because I had to go out and do something. Um, but it was still sticking, so I had to take a brush and wipe off everything. It was sticking to the fence that I had stamped with the Memento ink. And then I took a Swiffer after I was done with the brush just to make sure that everything was removed from my panel. It's okay that there's Versamark still on there. So I'm gonna dry this with a heat tool to make sure it doesn't stick to the fence. And I'm gonna ink it up again. And luckily it was in my Misty, so it was gonna stamp right in the same spot. And then I sprinkled it again and everything was fine. So I heat that to set it. Now I wanted to add a little bit of black to kind of coordinate with the string of lights. So I took my Stampin' Up! black marker and I'm gonna outline very carefully each of these letters. So obviously this is optional, you don't have to do this. And I'm just gonna do the big letters and I did them extremely slowly to make sure I didn't mess it up. Now after you do something like this, I always take a tissue and just press down on it because sometimes that marker gets on the embossed areas and then you can smudge it later with your hand. 
I'm gonna add some ATG tape runner to the back of this panel and adhere it to a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock, which is my card base. And that way I get a white outline that coordinates with the white sentiment. I took a silver uniball gel pen and I just filled in those areas uh, above the light bulbs just to kind of cover the brown that was there and make them stand out a little bit more. And that is the card for today. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.